Hello and welcome to this Xbox console update video. The latest update for December 6th is out at 2 p.m. Pacific time. The update will be available at different times depending on what version of Xbox you're currently running over the next few days. But the update for those who are running the alpha version implements several changes and I'm going over them as they're out in a couple of hours. So let's start with fixes implemented. To games they fixed to address some users reports of games failing to launch prompting to install an update incorrectly. To system various fixes to address the console shutting down unexpectedly when using video streaming apps. Various updates to properly reflect local languages across the consoles. And some users participating in preview may see odd text across the console but that's nothing to worry about. There are also a bunch of known issues starting with console live streaming. Some titles that should be enabled for live stream may display can't stream or broadcast this title error and go into the pause state. So the workaround for that is to restart the broadcast and some titles intentionally do not allow live streaming and will always display a pause state. Some users report issues during account linking in guide with a mobile device. A workaround for that is to close the page with the QR code after completing account linking on mobile. To controllers, they've received some reports that users' controllers are randomly losing sync or disconnecting from the console. If you encounter that behavior, please make sure to report that issue for them to fix. Also, some controller inputs are not working when a game is launched. To work around that, you can reboot the console and relaunch the game. There's also issues with players reporting audio mixer being unable to adjust chat and game audio levels. To the HDMI, they've received some reports that the HDMI CEC is not working correctly. And before you leave feedback for that, you have to make sure that your TV supports HDMI CEC before you do that. To the home screen, some users have reported that the icon for a disc-based title is not appearing on the dashboard. Users with a Series X or S console have reported that the dashboard is not loading with the error code 0x800 70490 on the console boot. For a workaround for that, users who encounter this error will need to perform a console reset and make sure to choose the option to keep games and apps installed in order to resolve that behavior. And last of all, my games and apps titles and collection may incorrectly appear with a trial tag. So guys, that is the latest Xbox update, and if you're part of the alpha program, then those are the changes that are out now. And of course, if you're in one of the other programs, this update will be out at a later date within the next few days. If you want to see more of the latest updates for Xbox, then subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.